The ICT and role in social change. ICT, which stands for Information Communication Technology, plays a significant role in bringing about social change. It does so by providing access to information, enabling communication and connectivity, empowering individuals and promoting inclusion, fostering civic engagement and activism, driving economic development and transforming education. ICT facilitates access to knowledge, connects people across boundaries, empowers marginalized communities, amplifies voices for change, creates economic opportunities and revolutionizes learning. Overall, ICT has the potential to break down barriers and contribute to positive societal transformation. With the advent of new technologies, the world of entertainment is constantly evolving. Digital broadcasting has completely changed the way we experience watching television and radio. Cinema can now be found at the comfort of your home through online application. We get entertained by the content that we see in Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Computer gaming has also been an important influence in the development of the graphical interfaces. Technology has been at the forefront of changes in production and distribution of music. We can now listen to music and podcast using Spotify. These are some of the many technologies we use for entertainment that arise in the digital age. Apps that provide amusement through online conversations are widely available today. A smartphone app called Facebook, Messenger, and Instagram allows and offer chat-based entertainment. Voice and video message are exchanged too. These apps allow users to communicate and have fun via e Many apps like Netflix, YouTube, and iFlix can be used to watch entertainment content. Users may access a huge library of entertainment content with these online video apps, which includes anything from movies and TV shows to original series and documentaries. They make it simpler for people to enjoy their preferred entertainment whenever and wherever they choose by providing a number of subscription options and being accessible on many devices. Similar to Spotify, music applications have transformed how people listen to, interact with, and enjoy music by making it more accessible, individualized, and enjoyable. They now provide a smooth and complete music experience, and they have grown to be an essential part of entertainment sector. Overall, entertainment in the digital realm has the potential to engage, educate, and inspire individuals to take action and support social change initiatives by leveraging the power of storytelling, social media, gamification, fundraising events, online activism, and educational contents. The entertainment industry can play a significant role in driving digital social change. The impact of ICT on a business is particularly significant. It has empowered people to share knowledge and advice instantaneously and set up an online shop or website as a low cost, dramatically lowering the barriers to a starting a business as such. ICT majority is closely linked as economic growth. Business in today life have promoted a lot with the coming of ICT. Its impact cannot be overemphasized. For example, ICT helped to increase productivity in business with the use of social media platform for marketing and promotion. The use of website now allow companies to develop new and cheaper ways of offering customers with opportunities of buying goods and services at their convenient time and enhance the level of customer service. Online platform has been the marketplace where people can transact and communicate. The impact of ICT infrastructure and social businesses cannot be understated. It has made social impact affordable, social impact scalable and enables new ways to connect to and engage with local communities. The role of ICT in a business 
medicine. However, its facilitator company become a lot of productive. Increase performance, save money, improve the client expertise, streamline communication, and enhance social control, decision creating. It's additionally play a task in serving the corporation expand globally in providing worker assist to company data where and whenever they are. ICT opens a world of possibilities for the betterment of the education sector. ICT in education is not a simply a method of education that responds to changes in society, but also offers various advantages and benefits that solve problems in the educational field. For teachers, it can be used to reduce workload and share information with other teachers. And for students, it can provide an environment where they can easily concentrate on their lessons and become more interested in learning. The following are some of the concrete benefits and effects of ICT in education. Improves and enhances peer support and collaboration between students. ICT promotes students' collaboration and makes it easier for them to work together. Students can develop their collaboration skills by participating in a variety of online activities. In their virtual learning environments, students can collaborate on projects by exchanging documents or using forums. Learning is accessible to any time, anywhere. Educational institutions use ICT to enable mobile learning, giving students access regardless of their location. ICT provides the flexibility and availability of learning materials to all students. While our sources are available in classrooms, students can also access them outside the school. ICT benefits students as enhancing education and enhancing digital skills. By using ICT in classroom, children can be easy into education. ICT makes it possible for students with the use of educational apps. It improves their learning process and are encouraging a balance between education. Job and Earnings ICT can have significant impact on jobs and earnings in the context of social change. Here's how ICT plays a role. Job Creation The adoption of ICT creates new job opportunities in various sectors. It leads to the development of digital industries such as software development, data analytics, cybersecurity, and e-commerce. Additionally, the integration of ICT in traditional sectors like healthcare, education, and agriculture also generates employment opportunities. Skills development. ICT skills are in high demand in today's job market. As technology continues to advance, individuals with strong ICT skills have a competitive advantage. Access to ICT tools and training programs enables individuals to acquire new skills, enhancing their employability and potential for higher earnings. Remote work and freelancing. ICT enables remote work and freelancing opportunities, allowing individuals to work independently or for organizations located anywhere in the world. This provides flexibility eliminates geographical barriers, and increase, increase earning potentials. Platforms like freelancing websites and online marketplace facilitates these opportunities. Entrepreneurship ICT empowers individuals to start their own businesses with relatively low investment. Online platforms and digital marketing tools provide a cost-effective way to establish and promote businesses. This can lead to increased income, job creation, and economic growth within communities. Access to financial services ICT facilitates access to financial services, particularly in underserved areas. Mobile banking, digital wallets, and online payment systems enable individuals to conduct financial transactions efficiently. This improves financial inclusion, 
promotes savings, facilitates access to credits, and supports entrepreneurial activities. Overall, ICT has the potential to create new job opportunities, enhance existing job prospects, and increase earnings for individuals. It, ena it enables entrepreneurship, remote work, and access to financial services, all of which contribute to socioeconomic development and positive change in job and earnings prospects. Health risks associated with the digital transformations include mental health problems. It also associated with extreme use of digital technologies, especially among children and teenagers, and the crowding out of other activities such as a physical exercise. Technological Determinism Technological Determinism is a theory that suggests that technology itself, independent of human actions or decision, determines social and cultural change. According to its perspective, advancement is technology drives and shapes society and have the power to transform various aspects of human life. Certainly, technological determinism is a theory that says technology has a big impact on how society and culture change. Some people believe that technology drives this change on its own, following its own development path. Others think that social economic factors also affect how technology develops and how it uses. Understanding technological determinism helps us think about how technology and society are connected and how people and their culture play a role in shaping technology. So hello everyone, I am Ireland A. Villanga, so I will be discussing about the topic 2, which is the social constructivism. Social constructivism is the opposite of the te technological determinism. So social constructivism is believed that human play a main role in shaping technology rather than technology shaping society. So what is Social constructivism. Social constructivism focuses on the collaborative nature of learning. So for the social constructivist, knowledge develops from how people interact with each other, culture, society at large. So students rely on others to help create their buildings block and learning from other helps that construct their own knowledge and reality. Social constructivism comes from Lev Vygotsky and is closely connected to cognitive constructivism with the added element of societal and peer influence. The level of potential development is the level at the which learning takes place. It comprises the cognitive structures that are still in processes of maturing, but which can only mature under the guidance of or in collaboration with others. According to the theory of social constructivism, social words develop out of individuals' interaction with their culture and society, evolves through the process of social negotiation and evaluation of the variability of individual understanding. Social constructivism, every conversation of encounter between two or more people present an opportunity for new knowledge to be obtained or present knowledge expanded. Social constructionism and social constructivism are of kindred spirit. In fact, in the line that divides the two appears to be blurred. Attempts to clearly define this line and came up with a clear and distinct understanding of those two concepts. It should be preceded by sociological change, also a willingness and desire on the part of community to modify their social, political and administrative institutions so as to make them fit with new technical of productions and faster tempo of economic activity.